This is another replica of a traditional famous Maya plate by Patricia Martin Morales. And I bought this in Muna, Yucatan from uh, Patricia uh, this year. It's, um, it's called the Blom plate. Franz Blom was a great Maya archaeologist and he purchased this plate in Mexico um, probably 50, 60 years ago. In any case, it's very interesting because it shows on the top half a scene of the hero twins. This man here on the right is um, he's covered with single spots and he represents one of the two hero twins. He's got a blowgun in his mouth and he is shooting a pellet. Here we have a bird, a ceremonial, um, they call this the cosmic bird, but this is the bird which the hero twin is shooting out of the, out of the sky. The bird is sitting on a very strange guy, which looks like sort of light bulbs on his head. This is called the sponge monster, because this probably represents the sea sponges. And this is a water god. There's plants growing out of the side of him. There's snake heads coming off the plants. And the bird has an interesting headdress. The headdress is the skeletal neck of another bird. And this bird's mouth is open. This is a water bird, like a cormorant or a pelican. And it's spouting this black stream filled with hieroglyphs. It's a very interesting, very difficult to understand image of what's coming out of this guy's mouth, but it's some sort of sustenance. And so this bird is wearing a headdress with another bird. On the other side, we have another version of the hero twin. In fact, he has bark spots on him too. The two twins generally are portrayed as different from each other, but here they've replicated the, the most famous hero twin, whose name is Hunapu and as uh, duplicated on both sides. But this is the hero twins shooting the bird from the tree. I should mention that the hero twins were the same hero twins that were resurrected um, in the ball court. And so this is an image from the Maya creation myth. Also, the inscription around the bottom, I should rotate it so you can see it, The inscription on the bottom tells the dedication of the plate. It starts with the words, this. The next word is elevated. And the word for elevated is very interesting because it's a footprint next to a, a step. And it means to go up. Very easy to remember. However, this glyph becomes very stylized and hard to read. And it tells us the kind of clay that it's made from. It tells us this is a plate and the food that was eaten on the plate. And then it tells the name of the guy that was buried with. All these plates that we have are in good condition because the Maya buried them in tombs. And uh, the last glyph here, which shows a man sucking his thumb, is a hieroglyph for a young guy. It means that the, the uh, ruler was a kelem, which is a, a word for youth, a, a young person. It doesn't necessarily mean he was a baby still sucking his thumb. Although maybe the Maya did that into old age, who knows? In any case, this glyph is very distinctive and easy to recognize. And this is a lovely replica of the Blom plate. The original, by the way, is not cracked. I dropped this and had to put it back together. But this is a, uh, the kind of quality of, of beautiful Maya glyphs and Maya painting that the ancient Maya did and that the modern Maya can still do.